Sonia Thayakaran is a HR gold medalist and freelance senior HR consultant. She assists corporate leaders by establishing a powerful and unique career brand. She was the recipient of the gold medal for the most outstanding HRM graduate of 2009, awarded by the University of Colombo, Sri Lanka. I will be covering on uh, these areas. So I, first of all, I would be highlighting a few statistics and then I will explain what are the untapped talent found among persons with disabilities. And then I will also move on to what are the benefits that employers can gain by hiring them and what is missing and how employers should be aware of these uh, issues uh, which they have overlooked for many years and what are the best practices, right? Uh, so we all know that the sustainable development goals explicitly include person with disabilities in most of their targets, especially in STG 8. So STG 8, as you can see from the screen, right? It highlights, right? promote sustained, inclusive and sustainable economic growth, full and productive employment and decent work for all, right? And also, if you look at uh, the keywords, that is decent work and economic growth. I'll repeat, decent work and economic growth, right? Which also covers person with disabilities, right? So if you look at their target, so STG 8 has 12 targets. Out of the 12 targets, the fifth target clearly mentions person with disabilities, right? So it says by 2030, need to achieve full and productive employment and decent work for all women and men, including for young people and persons with disabilities and equal pay for work of equal value. So we can see STG 8 clearly gives importance for person with disability. So we can't ignore this group of people, right? So let's look at some statistics, right? So I uh, did a research in my final year uh, thesis as part of my degree program uh, at University of Colombo. So uh, they are, uh, even now, re recently also I'm doing another research for my master's. Uh, we, uh, most of the articles, research reports, they highlight that there are no accurate data to actually measure, uh, measure disability related statistics and also to say that exactly this is the amount of uh, uh, person with disabilities available around the world. But of course, there are various reports which have conducted different studies. So according to a reliable source, that is World Health Organization. So we all know uh, that it's a recognized body. So based on their first report on uh, that is World Report on Disability, they pointed out that over 1 billion people around the world live with some type of disability. So that's a big number, right? So one in seven people have some sort of disability. And from this group, 80% of persons live in developing countries. So not only that, uh, it's very important to know that if you do a Google search to find out who are the largest minority in the world, you will get the answer as person with disabilities, right? So they are the largest minority in the world, right? And the numbers will increase. So they predict that by 2030, there will be 2 billion people. So mainly it's because uh, if you look at what's happening in the global arena, right? Uh, so the, there is a high increase in chronic health conditions, for example, like diabetes. So in fact, my father, he had a die, he passed away 10 years ago. Uh, so he also had to, uh, uh, the doctors told him to amputate his leg because of a, a wound, which was not, uh, uh, it was not getting cured, but unfortunately uh, they had to remove on his toe. But I, I'm sure you all would have heard cases of diabetes uh, where patients where they were supposed to, uh, amputate a part of their body and also due to cardiovascular disease and mental illness. And uh, if you look at the population as a whole, the aging population is increasing in almost all the countries, right? And when people go older, they may lose their sight, they may lose their hearing abilities, right? Uh, so anyway, people even 
a person without disability can become a person with disability right so even other factors like road accidents or if you saw the news recently uh, the earthquake which took place in turkey left thousands of people injured i'm sure there would be people who may have or who will be having a disability due to the natural disasters and even terrorist attacks due to landmines which can cause a person to have a disability so we can't ignore this although we may not have a disability we, we, who knows we, we never know what will happen in the next hour right so we may get a disability so we need to be mindful of this group of people so what are their unique talents we have to be mindful of their uh, untapped talent what are those so according to uh, various researchers right we saw that even in fact i uh, when i did my uh, final year research as part of my degree program i personally visited organization private sector organization which hired person with disability and, and in fact i interviewed their supervisors and the employees with disabilities so the supervisors most of them highlighted that their performance is much better with regard to their productivity, safety measures, and attendance when compared to their non-disabled colleagues. And not only that, uh, so we, uh, they are also very loyal. They, they tend to stay with your comp uh, the, the if, if the employees willing to uh, protect them and uh, support their career, they are willing to stay with the organization for a longer period. And they tend to take uh, less leave also. Most of the people think, hiring a person with disability may result in various other issues. But uh, apparently, uh, many researchers highlighted that employees with disability take fewer sick days and have few occupational health and safety issues, which highlights that they can be a good role model for employees without disabilities who are a bit slack in their work or who take leave regularly. So why is that? It's because now uh, most of the person with disabilities, when one part of their body is not functioning, the remaining parts of the body will function in an efficient manner. For an example, so I observe a receptionist who was um, uh, visually uh, disabled. So, but she, the way she dressed, everything was matching. And um, in fact, I called her only once. The next time when I called her, she, I, I did not mention my name. She immediately mentioned, uh, Sonia and she can immediately recall a person's name by the voice because the other parts of the body are very sharp uh, when one part of the organ is not functioning properly. So that is the untapped talent which person with disabilities have, right? And also when you hire a person with disabilities, uh, you can strengthen the workplace morale and also the other employees will be more challenge because when they see a person with disability working very hard and with all their difficulties uh, doing their best to the company i'm sure employees without disabilities will also be motivated so uh, this is a very very important thing which i think most of the employees are ignoring right the the five benefits in summary i can um, explain the benefits into these five top points that is it High, highly motivates your employees who are without disability and then it supports an inclusive culture because you are promoting diversity equal employment opportunities which in turn result in a very strong employer brand right because your company will be projected as a company which values diversity and support these minority groups and fourth it improves communication between cultures so you can uh, understand customers with disabilities. When you hire employees with disabilities inside your organization, you can understand how a customer with disability will think, how they will buy certain products and services from your organization. So finally, your customer satisfaction, right, will also increase, right? So employers can immensely benefit from this untapped pool of unique talent. Right. So other reason is because they can also attract lucrative customers with disabilities, including the family members who look after these person with disabilities. Right. So in summary, right, uh, many studies have revealed that employing person with disabilities will result in 
achieving sustainable competitive advantage because it makes good business sense to hire person with disabilities due to the advantages which i mentioned earlier right but where are we missing what is missing here so look at the statistics uh, the unemployment rate is very high for person with disabilities compared to their non disabled counterparts so what is lacking where are we missing right so when you I, I went through so many researchers i studied ilo reports various reliable uh, studies right and most of their studies reveal that majority of the person with disabilities are excluded from formal employment due to these top three reasons lack of disability friendly hr practices negative perceptions right the negative attitude that employers colleagues have and finally discrimination so although there are various laws um, protecting person with disabilities actually in real world they are being discriminated right and also uh, when i studied various st studies researchers specifically on the hr policies adopted for person with disabilities employees with disabilities often go through difficult pe period they they face lot of negative issues for example uh, when it comes to hiring and promotion right there are a lot of unequal standards and also with regard to their salaries also there is unequal pay for equal work and occupational segregation refers to the most of the person with disabilities who are employed in the formal sector are found to be doing odd jobs or jobs which are not uh, uh, equivalent to their qualification or what they should be doing actually doing so just to uh, show the world that they are hiring person with disabilities or to fulfill the uh, uh, quota scheme they they have just hired person with disability but they are in that same position for many years so their promotions and their career prospects are very very limited so these are some of the negative things faced by person with disabilities the formal sector and also world health organizations first report on disability also highlights this right that uh, they face a lot of barriers such as unequal access to employment opportunities inadequate disability related services right so in summary globally person with disabilities face the following difficulties so they are often forgotten and they are the most poorest and the most vulnerable group and their needs are often overlooked and uh, more, they are more likely to experience adverse socio economic outcomes like for example less education poor health outcomes lower levels of employment and higher poverty rates right so employers need to be mindful of this right we can't turn a blind eye towards person with disabilities now actually the trend is changing so in the recent past widespread attention is given to examine the provisions given for person with disabilities with regard to skills training vocational rehabilitation job retention and return to work requirements and also uh, so many countries right so based on ilo's reports there are about more than 100 countries which have certain quota schemes that make it ma mandatory to hire particular percentage of their total workforce where they must be person with disabilities and also there are various laws protecting person with disabilities so although these are increasing like there are a lot of provisions for person with disabilities right even in fact ilo also highlights uh, including disability advocates emphasize that person with disabilities must be paid equally as they are non disabled colleagues who are working under the same conditions and they employers must ensure equal employment opportunities right so we can see that uh, employers can't turn a blind eye they even if they have a negative opinion about hiring person with disability or they are, they they, are, they have not done that earlier they must take some actions now because all these disability legislation and all the uh, global initiatives they directly influence impact 
most of these HR practices, right? Americans with Disabilities Act and various other, I'm sure in each of your countries, you all have specific acts protecting employing person with disabilities. So if you look at their clauses, they directly address HR policies and practices. So employers must make some adjustment to employ person with this. They can't turn a blind eye anymore. So they have to be alert. They have to be mindful of these things, right? So what is the solution? How can employers uh, be alert, right? And as a uh, professionals so i don't know your background most of you all may be working in private sector or ng wherever you're working you need to emphasize these things you need to create awareness on these things right especially about disability friendly workplace practices so when it comes to offering employment employers should give prominence to evaluate the ability i quote the ability right and not the disability so you know you should not check if the uh, let's say if a uh, candidate is coming on a wheelchair so you should not ask uh, dig questions on their disability first of all our mindset should change we must think okay what what how can we integrate this person with disability into our organization so that we can make use of that person's ability and not think about the difficulties employers may face due to their disability so it's a mindset change we need to change our mindset so other ways are for example we can give guidance on the available physical and digital accessibility and ensure that the workplace is adjusted accordingly and make sure you use technology or especially assistive technologies right and create awareness on these issues very very important Right? because many people don't know about these things right uh, so many developed countries have adopted the robust disability friendly work practices for an example they have amended their hiring practices to accommodate person with disabilities and to make it more accessible and also they have adjusted the work environment and working hours in addition to that, they also provide assistive technologies such as tricycle, crutches, wheelchairs, hearing aids, and screen readers. There are so many I can go on, but I have to manage the time. So uh, there are good practices as well, uh, we, which we can see in most of the developed countries to make the life of person with disabilities easier so that they also can be part of the formal employment, right? And in addition to that, Many researchers have also found that providing the right practices of accommodation will increase employment opportunities. For an instance, now a, 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 an ILO study based in Uganda found that job seekers with walking disabilities found more employment opportunities after they use assistive technology devices. Right. So most of the employers think that accommodation is very, very expensive. Right. But actually, it is not expensive. It is inexpensive. And when you make sure your organization is more accessible to employees, you can also make it accessible to your clients, customers. As I mentioned earlier, you can attract lucrative customers with disabilities by including these accommodation ramps, automatic door open. There are so many. I'm just listing the top uh, uh, four, the most prominent one. There are so many ways, but due to time duration, I'm highlighting the top four accommodation. And uh, so coming back to few best practices, right? There are so many good companies, but uh, uh, I have quoted uh, two best practices. One is Intel and Cisco. So we know Intel is a reputed IT company. Right? So they use innovative technology to remove workplace barriers that impact persons with disabilities. So with, uh, as part of their RISE 2030 initiative, they have pledged that, <coughs> excuse me, by 2030, person with disabilities would account for 10% of its workforce. So Intel is highly leveraging, leveraging on their technology, mentorship programs, and inclusive hiring efforts to achieve the above target. In addition to that, right, there's another company, which we all know, Cisco, which is in the communication and technology industry, has a history of taking the lead when it comes to accessibility. So it has created the Connected Disability Action Network, CDAN, which works on several initiatives. So the CDAN leaders and members work together to ensure that Cisco 
becomes a disability confident employer and they work hard to break down various barriers for people with disabilities uh, and also they are engineers with the engineers who are working with cisco are working on a project called the project life changer where they have created a technology that allows employees with disabilities to find more opportunities to work from home if that is a suitable accommodation practice and other organization also are purchasing that technology because they found that it's very successful so in conclusion hiring person with disabilities and also increasing the employment opportunities in the formal sector is vital for economic growth and it benefits employers not only employers it ensures self reliance among person with disabilities it eliminates person with disabilities being part of the dependency ratio so it saves huge amount of cost for the country and also for the family who is uh, looking after the person with disability so when a person with disability joins a, a labor force they they become self reliant right so it also finally it supports the achievement of strategic development goal 8 especially target 8.5 right so it's high time to turn our awareness into action so we cannot waste an extraordinary and untapped talent pool so thank you very much for listening to me over to you manuela thank you very much so if there are any questions please feel free to email uh, or you can connect with me via linkedin i share regular tips on these things Thank you very much for listening to me.